Hello! Welcome to the Wedding Video Boss Podcast. I'm your host, Paul Santiago. Sorry, that was my best Mrs. Doubtfire impression. Let's do that again. Welcome to the Wedding Video Boss Podcast. I'm your host, Paul Santiago. We're at episode 11, and in this episode, we're going to talk about the key steps to attracting your ideal clients. I loved Megan's interview so much that I needed to follow it up. As people, we naturally gravitate towards others who share our values, who can listen, and who understands our needs. When it comes to telling the unique stories of weddings, creating meaningful connections through genuine service, it's what's going to make clients choose you and even bring others along with them. Some of the most renowned people in the world believe in this. Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon, likens attracting clients to an intimate event. He said, We see our customers as invited guests to a party, and we are the hosts. It's our job to make the customer's experience a little bit better. When your clients or guests join the party, we make sure to listen. David Beeb, a producer of branded content, said, We need to stop interrupting what people are interested in and be what people are interested in. Steve Jobs, founder of Apple, advises, Get closer than ever to your customers so that you tell them what they need before they even realize it themselves. From the moment that clients cast their first glance your way, to the time when the wedding reception is finished, we as vendors must maintain a good relationship. Maya Angelou said, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. To keep attracting the ideal client, we have to replicate this process. Brian Chesky, co-founder of Airbnb, said, Build something a hundred people love, not something one million people kind of like. Jeff Bezos again said, A brand for a company is like a reputation for a person. You earn reputation by trying to do hard things well. So, to attract your ideal clients and to effectively scale your business, crafting a clear marketing message and establishing a strong presence are the keys. How can you make sure your ideal clients look in your direction and make their way to you? There are three steps that we followed in this segment I should have called plan of attract step number one establish your brand your brand is the embodiment of your core values and your personality therefore the image that you create has to come through all your marketing communication from your um, your logo your branding colors imagery your tagline tone of voice and of course your work that needs to speak for the quality and value you provide. Out of the sea of vendors, how can you make sure your brand stands out? You got to have a unique selling proposition or USP. Who are you and how are you different? Why should your ideal clients choose you? What can you bring to the table that the others haven't offered yet? And please, don't talk about pricing. Instead, you should highlight the benefits that your ideal clients can gain from doing business with you. Now, go think about what your USP is. For me, my USP is because I'm extremely handsome. Of course, that's subjective, but when my mom says something, it's always true. So, have you thought about your USP? Do you know where all of these factors come together? Your website. Your website is where your brand is going to be established. This is what clients will see after your vendor friends refer them to you or when your past couples tell their friends about you. There are several tools such as Wix, uh, there's WordPress, and Squarespace to help you get started on building a site that will match your personality. This is where they will see your work, so make sure it's flaming hot content. In addition to customizing the look of your site and showcasing your portfolio, you must curate all the content you post on it. Talk about yourself. What are you great at? What are your credentials? And what's your story? Remember, you're the guide. How can you make your clients' lives so much easier? Your content must address the specific needs of your potential customers. You got to engage with them. Answer their questions as best as you can and follow up regularly. Make sure your website is a tool that they can't live without. You should be the go-to. So if your website is just filled with your face, I think you should be a model or an influencer. 
In addition to your web content, you got to curate your social media pages. You know, social media is such a powerful tool that anything you post is going to reflect your brand. Your customers are always browsing on social media, so the potential for connections is high. And because you yourself are on social media, you must become self-aware of the personal stuff you post. You can become an influencer. So make sure you calculate and curate. Of course, personal stuff, it includes uh, sh everything you share, even your Facebook and Instagram stories. It also pertains to how you present yourself when you step out of the house, what you wear, and even the way you walk on the street. You'll never know who you're going to run into. <laughs> I remember one time I was at the grocery store, haven't showered yet, don't ask me why, and I ran into a couple who used to be our clients. Good thing is we saw each other at the spices section, so I blended really well. So remember, every time you step out of the house, you are the brand and you have to be conscious about that. So always bring a hat and lemon slices just so you're ready. Step number two, establish your customer profile. To attract your ideal clients, you need to identify the types of customers you want to serve. These are the customers who will actively seek you out because they are... Um, desperate to avail of your services. You already know you can provide an excellent benefit, so focus your energies on identifying your target customers and study them. These are real people, so find out about their age, their jobs, location, what their spending power is, their values, the things that they hate, how they think, their lifestyle, what movies and music they like, places they like to go to, and the other pieces of the puzzle that make up the picture of your ideal customer. Anything that can make you connect with them. You can even use analytics on Google and Facebook so that you can find out who visits your site and browse through your social media pages. Some people consider the physical looks of their client. I don't really care about that. Next, you have to have a clear image of your client based on your brand, not the other way around. Your brand has to come first. Because that's what's going to dictate the market you're going to attract. What's important for me is that the clients we showcase are the ones who are in the moment. You know, the criers, people who are emotional. Also the happy ones, always laughing and having a good time. Candid, you know, real moments. Last step is step number three. Match to your market. This means networking with like-minded people. Vendors who are attracted to your brand and have the same market as you. We used to get low-budget clients because we rarely networked or posted work online. But ever since we raised our prices, curated our social media content, and repositioned our goal, the vendors who are attracted to our brand and have the same market as ours start to send their people our way. Another step to match your market is highlighting reviews. So if your clients told you how happy they were about your work, ask them. Ask them to give it a review. Collect quotes. Post them on your website your social media pages, or even your stories. If you have an office, you can post them there. Print them out. We used to frame hours so that the clients can see them when they walk in. These reviews will help spread the word about you and generate more leads in the future. I mean, you could even set up a, a reward system for your clients who make successful referrals. To fine-tune your marketing and lead generation efforts, Utilize the power of targeted ads on Facebook and LinkedIn. These ads will be sure to gather eyeballs, not just from your ideal clients, but also the vendors in your market. The last step to matching your market is creating a great first impression. Okay, so your main goal is for your ideal clients to contact you. First contact with a client could be them getting in touch with you, like through email or phone call. Or it's you who connects with them at an actual event. Whoever initiates the first contact, first impression is key. The moment they go to your website, they'll see your brand. If they are attracted to your brand and fit your customer profile, then they'll contact you. They're going to go to your office and that's where you create your first impression. That's pretty much the goal is for them to be able to go to your office and meet with you. Sometimes you do encounter clients with a really low budget, but they absolutely want to talk to us. So... They answer their questionnaire with their budget included. We email our brochure, even if our prices are higher than their budget, right? If they still go and come see us, that's how we know the client is going to book. So for in-person meetings, especially unplanned ones, you still need to make a great first impression and maintain your professionalism. For in-person meetings, especially the, the unplanned ones, you still need to make a great first impression 
and maintain your professionalism. One time we had a client who just walked in. They knocked on the door unannounced while we were working. Good thing we were ready with our spiels. They booked on the spot, paying us $5,000. That took place two weeks before the wedding. So the goal in attracting your ideal clients is for them to contact you. You can achieve this by following the three steps. Establish your brand, establish your client base, and establish your relationship and reputation. You don't necessarily have to walk and talk like your clients. You just have to make sure that they can trust you. Because trust is uh, very hard to get from a stranger. So if you're known to be trustworthy, your ideal clients will be comfortable working with you. Otherwise, can you imagine, for example, you're a new client and you don't know the person. You agree to meet them at a parking lot and pay him like $4,000, dollars $5, Would you do that? No. The more you give your brand importance, the higher your avatars are going to be, which is your customer profile. The client experience is going to depend on your brand, and your brand is going to dictate how much money you're going to earn this year. Those steps, my friends, is the best plan of attract. I wish you the best of luck. It would be awesome to hear your thoughts about today's episode, so feel free to reach out. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a review, and I'll see you on the next Wedding Video Boss podcast. Till then, play nice if you can't win. Be nice, especially if you're good looking. Boss Man out.